Karen with another egg. Only this time I'm prepared. What's up all you sussy James Charles simps, Minecraft, Roblox gamers? It's me, your dad. And today I got another video for you guys. Karen laid another egg and we're gonna have to go out and get it. But the riot shield is too hard to work with and we also have to do a lot of other chores. For examples, Poppy's been missing for quite some time. As you know, you real fans. She comes out at 3 a.m. to nibble on little things I leave out in the yard. She's definitely sniffing around for something over there. So I'm gonna go ahead and set a trap and see if we can catch her again. All of these little guys need to be released into the yard so they can free range because it's due time for them. And before it stormed and rained all night, that egg was actually covered in mud over here. Here. There's zero chance that that egg is going to hatch, so we get to eat it. For that, let's throw a glizzy at Karen and a glizzy at Kevin. And I'm gonna throw a glizzy at Kevin. I'm gonna hit him right in the butt. And we'll throw a glizzy at Kevin, and then we'll be able to get out there and get that egg. Well, the riot shield was great and all. This is light armor, and I think it's going to be better in general because I'm not gonna have to lift my hand the whole time. Oh, look at this. I got this hammer from church because I got an award. All right, let's get out there. <laughs> come on let's go come on come on here take it that's it guys there's not that much more to it than that just gotta get your armor and this is light armor made of plastic nothing like the heavy armor that we're gonna get uh for season five but as you can see kevin doesn't even mess around with this armor normally kevin's a little bit instigative a little bit angry but with that riot shield he's real angry but as you can see he does not want a piece of this oh and he will get away at any cost but my wife karen here she's also scared karen karen don't mess with master chief okay guys even karen is scared of master chief so you know what that means time to get these chores done All right, so all we need to look, even the baby was scared. All we need to do today is just feed these guys and we're gonna let them all out. It's been raining a lot and it's gonna rain a lot this week, so I don't have to worry about the grass getting destroyed by the chickens. So, these little guys are gonna be very happy. Come on out. As you can see, it rained real bad and then they got all this nasty stuff in there. Poor little guys. Get all triggered and say, oh, why do you have them in such a small space? They've been growing an inch a day. Also, we're moving them all to Waco where they're gonna have lots of acres and we're gonna have a much, much larger coop for them there. Pretty soon, guys, I'm gonna have to take a little bit of time off this whole YouTube gig so that I can focus on the rescue and farm and setting everything up. Uncle Ben's not working a full-time job anymore, but he is working four other full-time jobs. One of which is making sure you saucy bastards get uh, your daily help in a contact. Oh, oh, almost died there. Look at this exposed wire. That seems safe. I've got glizzies for you. Oh, look at my wife. As you can see, Kevin wants absolutely nothing to do with this whole big chunk of beautifulness. Uh, and we don't have any eggs here, and even if we did, they'd be covered in mud. This is what happens, guys. One storm and your tent goes kaput. It's cheap aluminum. There is a lot of poop here on the ground, you guys, but I just wanted to show you, if you don't do this quickly, this, these tents will break. Uh, it's not good stuff. Oh. What do you guys think about the current political climate? You kids been listening to any good music lately? Been listening to this one band called, uh, I think it's Kanye West. I think his music's pretty neat. He seems to be pretty into himself though, but I don't mind this Mr. Kanye West. I think he's funny. All right. Okay guys, that's it. I'm just gonna go ahead and pour this stuff on the ground here where there's a lot of grass. As you can see, I separated the colored ones from the non-colored ones. If you guys want them, let me know. Reach out to me if you're near Texas. Chicken is eating grass because that's the thing that they do. Oh! You know what? I'm even gonna let Vinny free range today. Uh, so Vinny can eat some of that nice grass. We don't worry about the grass when it's raining like this. It's gonna rain every day this week. I just need to get into here. Oh, excuse me, nice little slosh there. Very good. You want to try a little bit of that, kids? 
All right, that's gonna be more than enough food for all the children for today. Uh, the goal is to get them to eat the rest of the bug. We are gonna have no more flies after this. And after I let all 50 of these birds run around here. I don't think this is even legal at this point. It was legal when they were chicks. This is just an army. Adorable little baby. We can finally see all the roosters now, as you can see. And it's at this age that they start to kind of square up and, and establish a pecking order. Once the flock gets above 20 members, pecking order just kind of goes out the window. But okay, guys, come on in. <laughs> Check out my chicken coop, or my pigeon coop. I have a mother there who's sitting on a nest. This is Darth Sidious and Darth Phobos, his gamer e-girl GF, and they love each other. She's very, very sweet. She's our little rescue from that pond where she was abandoned. Check this out. We've actually got two eggs in here, finally. Uh, and then the one that laid the egg was one that wasn't even a member of our flock. I gotta do this over here regularly too, or else it might just break the whole cage. Tell I me. strategically cut holes in the middle here. This way, uh, leak out whenever too much water kind of gets into the middle section. Look at that adorable little one. Oh, it's so cute. Look at Vinny free ranging over there, guys. That's what it's all about. Sure hope she doesn't get eaten by the neighbor's dog. All right, let's go ahead and crack this open and we'll make an omelet. Get inside the baby. We need you for the cooking show, buddy. Oh, was that the baby? World renowned chef and extraordinary culinary artist. Are you an amazing chef? And would you like to come on inside and help us make an egg? Man, I really wish that I could make an egg, but I don't know how because I'm not an expert culinary artist like the baby. Whoa, is that the baby? Sir, would you like to come on inside and make an egg for us? I'm very busy making all of my music and raps, but I suppose I can for you. And welcome back to Cooking with the Baby, our new cooking show. Sir, what are you doing? We're gonna be cooking this egg. As I said before, it's uh, it was laid in the mud and it rained all all night last night so this thing is not gonna hatch this is actually my first time ever even trying a rea egg it's gonna be a lot different from that nasty ostrich video that triggered most of you guys we're actually just gonna crack this open and, and make it sunny side up and the baby here is going to help first we're gonna start by covering the pan in a light little layer of butter you just want to get the bottom of the pan anywhere where that egg is gonna be touching and this is a pretty large egg I'd say it's probably equivalent to at least one egg. Well, look at that good stuff, guys. And I promise I'm not gonna eat any of it raw this time. I promise, please don't unsubscribe from this channel. While that's cooking up, check this out. We got all these little pigeon boys packaged up for you guys. And by the end of tonight, I promise, I promise, by the end of tonight, we're gonna be done with the first round of them, okay? And if you ordered after May 13th, sorry, yours is coming in a month. But for everybody else, yours is probably coming in in a week or two. Uh, so get ready, yay. All right, we got a pretty good size toll in here. Uh, then you just put it like this and shake it. All right, we're gonna go ahead and pour this stuff right in there. Oh, got a little bit of shell in there, but that's okay. Let's get as much as we can in there. Oh yeah, baby, woo! Yeah, so it's not gonna be the same thing as a sunny side up egg, but this is still gonna be a good egg that we can eat. This was laid literally yesterday. Okay, the baby, go ahead and hold on to this for now. We got all this poured out. I'm gonna go ahead and take this egg and put it over here for now. Uh, if you guys order a spy camera, uh, this is the last call. Actually, I swear this time it's actually, I mean it. This is the last call. We're almost done. We're almost done, you guys, with the spy cameras, all right? And if you buy one in, uh, in, in Central Texas, I might just deliver it to you myself. That's right, guys. One lucky pigeon buyer is gonna get Karen's egg in the mail, and one lucky pigeon buyer is gonna get Ning's ostrich egg in the mail. Uh, slurped on by yours truly. Looks like Olive is big enough to crawl on the log now. She's gonna free range for a little bit till it rains at least. This is my new system for the humidifier. Check this out. I put this in here and that works so much better. Looks like we got another baby. Oh. Hello, little child. Welcome to Earth. One of those eggs is definitely bad. So we're gonna have to find out which one that is and throw it out. Might just have to toss this guy in the egg. So <laughs> just kidding. As you can see, our baby rat tight infirmary is doing very well. I'm gonna put this little guy with the babies in here. Look at the baby just sitting here. All right, looks like we're done. Mm, looks pretty good. Sure hope I don't get salmonella from this. <laughs> this egg is actually delicious, guys. It is way better than the ostrich egg, cooked, not cooked. That ostrich egg was obviously foul because I guess salmonella. Mmm, very, very good. 
All right, guys, we're going to get back to packaging all this stuff. But if you go ahead and order a spy camera, you will probably get this in the mail. But probably not because only one of you is going to get it. I'm going to put all kinds of random junk in there with them. All kinds of little surprises. Might put a button. Might put a paper clip. Might even put a $100 bill. Oh, who knows? But it, it supports our uh, wildlife rehab. It helps me set up the renovations for Waco. And like I said, guys, don't expect me to be posting every day next week because we are going to be uh, doing a lot more uncle ben needs to start focusing on these other things and we still need to set up the wildlife rehab look at him scratch his little leg thanks so much for watching guys i love you appreciate you